welcome back to Stuff We Do. <coughs> Excuse me, today we are doing pots. How to restore rusted cast iron. Okay, this one looks bad pretty much all over. Um, it's got some deep pitting over here, but we'll fix that. This thing is rusted. Um, and you can see it was previously also rusted because it's got deep pitting in the bottom. Now I'm not going to take the pitting away. I'm just going to take the rust away. This was a bush baby. And then these two are Falkirk. Number one and number two. The number two one looks fine. So this one is just going to get cleaned and oiled. And then that can be put into storage. These two, they're going to be, yeah, they're going to need a bit more work. Three seasonings things like that but the best way to season cast iron is to just use it so we'll do videos on me using look at my shadow that's a shop um yeah we'll do videos on that later and then this is how we're going to restore it we're going to use this a little squeaky bottle vinegar scrubby thing and some whatever steel wool rolls okay i'm going to put them in these pots and then i'm going to spray them with a solution of 50 percent vinegar a normal white spirit vinegar and 50% water now I watched a video from another guy that seemed clever and they didn't need to put this in a whole big tub of vinegar because I know it's cheap but it still feels wasteful and I don't want to use rust remover and things on these because I want to eat out of them okay so let's see how this vinegar spray and rub thing works Okay, so the video I watched, the clever guy said you just spray these things. Okay, there is bird poo and whatnot on here as well. So I'm going to spray this thing and then I have to wait like, I think he said five minutes, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer and then I'm going to start doing things. Okay, so you spray them, then you wait for a while and then you start rubbing these things. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now I'm rubbing this stuff with my awesome little scrapey thing. Um, the rust does appear to go off. I don't know, I think I waited like five minutes now. Yeah, the rust is getting off. I'm pretty sure if I wash this thing and if I re-oil it, it's already sharp. Okay, so this one will wash and then wait there's a bit of rust. The bird droppings are also falling away quite nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one just get some more there. Yeah, I'm gonna call this one pretty much done for now. Yeah, and now this bad boy. Okay, this one is gonna need a bit of rubbing and a second spray because this poor thing has been neglected awfully. Okay, I've been spraying and scrubbing and spraying and scrubbing and this thing still looks horrible but it's getting there. The bottom of this one actually looks horrendous. So I've been spraying and scrubbing and spraying and scrubbing that one. Then the lids, they are in here now with soapy water and I'm starting to use my, what do you call this, steel wool and that one is starting to look better. Okay, this one is fine, these two lids are fine, that one is rusting again because I didn't oil it yet and fired it a bit, that one also, that one looks good, this was the horrible one, that one also looks fine now, let me show you the other ones, okay, these ones are now in a pot of, well actually it's still vinegar but I added, um, what do you call that stuff, uh, soap, and now I'm just scrubbing it. Now it looks better, but it's still got a ways to go. And let me not lie to you, this is ridiculously hard work. I'm already outside, so we can just as well fry a few pork chops. And I've got a new spice. Spur, it's like a franchise here in South Africa. Anyway, so we're going to do some spur barbecue spice today hopefully that's good okay i oiled these things beforehand sorry if i go away because i'm holding the thing with one hand okay 
So we are going to do this today. Spur. What's that say? Take home that great spur taste. Steakhouse signature seasoning. So we're gonna try that today. Hopefully it's as delicious. Long ago I did a video about me in Spur, but the Spur next to us closed down. So we don't go there that often anymore. But if you are in South Africa, Spurs are quite cool. Not that cheap anymore, but still cool. I love pork chops. And then I'm going to go scrubbing again. Okay, and as you can see, this little guy is trying to curl up. So then we just do that. So that it relaxes and lies nice and flat. I'm doing the PM2 today because it's an awesome knife and I love it. Um, and yeah, there's no reason not to carry your PM2 as much as possible. Wonderful knife. Okay, one more. Not curling yet. It will in a little bit. Okay, so there we go. We have our spur steak ranch seasoning on it. We're doing the PM2. And when I'm done, I'm going to go back to those pots. Okay, and as always, I added jimmies. You can't eat pork without jimmies. That's like sacrilegious. Anyway, so I added jimmies. And now I think last in and then we're done. And then it's me and those scrubbing pots again. Okay, I've added a few coals to my fire again, just to get it hot. Because now, I have to wipe these things with oil and try to get them seasoned again. Well, or at least black and rust proof again. Okay, so we have that one. Doesn't look that bad. These ones are looking great. This thing, because you see, just from standing here, being wet for a while, it started doing the rusting thing again. So I have to oil them, put them on the fire, and then they should be fine. Okay, so now I'm just rubbing them with a thing with normal oil. I think this is canola oil. And then putting them on the fire just to heat it up enough for the oil to stick to the cast iron, and then it should be fine. Look at that though, it's covered. I broke off the nail off the other day while working. Horrible day. Great result for my pots. Okay, there's way more precise ways of doing this, but this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so my pots look great. A uh, little time on the heat, just for the oil to evaporate. I keep turning them like a good piece of meat, and then they should be able to be stored and then in an upcoming video we will cook something in my Falkirk number one. Okay, Falkirk I think if I can remember correctly is a British brand. Okay, the Bush Baby, I'm not sure where that comes from, most likely China. Okay, this one is ready, so this one can go into storage until I need it. It's a number two, which means it's quite big. And then these ones, they still have to go for a little while, but I'm going to call it for today. So, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.